Bryce has been with me now six years. Six years. Six years. And, and the great thing I love about Bryce is it is hard to correct bad form uh, when it comes to health and fitness. It's also hard to correct somebody's nutrition when they've read everything and they believe everything. Uh, so this is one of the greatest things I ever got to work with is I create my own little Frankenstein in a sense. Um, someone that didn't know anything about nutrition, uh, someone that didn't really know about weightlifting. And so we got to get into a habit of, of creating proper eating habits, uh, why the foods that we were doing, and they got these crazy heads. Um, but you, you uh, in a sense, you didn't fight it like most people do. They go, ah, no, no, this is the proper diet. This is the proper way to lift. This is the proper way. You committed to it, and and just so you guys understand, the transformation he's done is is documented. Um, he had uh, partial scoliosis, and we have fixed that. Uh, his bone density has gotten better from 40 years old to 46 years old. When obviously you guys know that it it decreases uh, as you get older, uh, and his strength has gone from. Average Joe to an elite power lifter strength. Bryce Gator. You know, one thing that we should lead off in is I started to work with Mike at age 40. And when you change to age 40, you, everyone has different ways of looking at it. For me, I wanted to run at 40. I wanted to get better. I didn't want to sit around and think, oh, well, now everything gets worse now. And Again, I'll say this a couple times during it, and I'll refer to my iPhone for a couple of notes I made if I look down. But uh, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. All my numbers since age 40 have changed how we've wanted them, and it's become even more of a lifestyle for me that I enjoy, and I would really recommend it to anybody who wants to improve, and that's probably why you're here, is you're thinking about making a change, and you're, you're working with all this great knowledge. So the fact that you got here is awesome. The challenge is all the curveballs that you're gonna have to anticipate so that you can get to your destination. And that's really important because by choosing to work with Mike, you made a super intelligent and informed decision. I mean, he's like a living testament to correct diet and exercise. Inevitably though, you're gonna be confused as you go through this process. Why? I think that a couple things I can tell you as a prep that will help you get through this is first, how do you look at fitness? This is how I choose to look at fitness. You have to accept that diet is the most important part of this. There's going to be no change without the diet. All things come from the diet. It's 70% of what you do. The lifting is 30% of what you do. And the lifting's fun and being in the gym is fun. But if you don't do the diet, you don't have anything. And the one thing, right, I'll stop you there because the one thing that you guys can stop saying this when you meet me in person or, or you tell me uh, in the Titan crew or just meet me around the world, you basically go, hey, the lifting's not the problem, it's the diet. That's everybody. That's, that's nothing, you know. Going 55 on the highway, that's not the problem. It's, that is everybody's problem. The nutrition is the hardest thing in the world and you've been able to accomplish what is it that made you just snap and go, here's the diet, this is what I eat, there's nothing else? Discipline. Is there something deeper, something that goes, because here's one thing that I, I think most people, if, if there's not a, something more than a goal, something that just really keeps you there. Um, for me, it was one of the things that I, I learned early on is when my brothers and sisters that all competed messed up a day, I got a day ahead and then they'd slip and I'd catch them and then I would pass them. And I put in a relationship that I can never get back the day I mess up. I can never get back the day I don't train. I can never get back the day yes, yes. You, you, you cheat. You have to realize that every single part of the diet is important. Every single part of the lifting is important. And if you don't do all of it, you're not gonna get the result that has led you here to, to learn about this and to do it. So every single thing, no matter how minute, no matter how, say, well, well next week I'm gonna do that again and I'll do this body part better or whatever. No, it's all important. And if you make every, if you make the effort to do every single thing at 100%, 
That's how you win and that's how you change. About the diet, how I can liken the diet is it's gonna be disruption to your system, okay? If, listen, if you were on the diet that was great, maybe you're just here to learn, you wouldn't need this. The fact of the matter is, is that you need a new diet to get to the goal that you want to achieve and why you want to work with Mike. You're gonna get confused, okay? And you have to realize that a metaphor for me to envision the diet is envision it as a plane flight and you're the captain right now. You're flying the plane, okay? You wanna go up, you I'm wanna go down, right <laughs> it's great. Now get up out of the seat, the pilot seat, go to well, the first class cabin, but let Mike sit down and fly the plane. It's gonna be disruptive, okay? He's gonna change the altitude. He might decide to land. He might decide to you know, change where you're gonna land. You're gonna feel this, okay? And the truth is, is he's disrupting your current diet and your current metabolism to get it on target with the goal that, that you have. It won't make sense to you at the beginning. And it may not even make sense to you as you near the end. But you have to see it through. Because if you see it through, you will see the results. We're gonna just deadlift. We may do some secondary work like bent overs or some pull ups, but it's usually just the deadlifts and we change it up with uh, three different styles of deadlifts. Sumo, conventional, more of a straight leg deadlift that's focusing on the lower back and not the hamstrings. And today, you're gonna to be able to see all three. Now again, this is a guy that, uh, uh, man, he came to me, um, 40 years old, didn't lift a lot before that and didn't lift correctly and we've changed everything and, and one of the incredible things is he had a, uh, a bend to the back, scoliosis, and we have straightened that by using exercises that society actually think hurt you. Um, so it's a beautiful thing about what really happens um, when you do things properly relative to uh, the typical Joe teaching you how to do this. So first up, conventional deadlifts. wanted you to, to do this and talk to them is because of the fact that uh, you're going to get before and afters and you're going to get all that kind of stuff but in in this case what we have is and again more uh, more life for us um, there was something that I was with Bedros yesterday and he said something about uh, the, the best is yet to come and when somebody makes a statement and this is a a statement that again a majority of society remember when and as soon as a person makes that statement, remember when that means his best times are behind him. Remember when I was in high school and I was a great athlete? Do you remember when I had abs? Do you remember when I looked really good at, at 29 years old? That is you peaked. And that is one thing that I don't, I don't want any of you guys to think that. And I don't think that that is what's so. And that's why I wanted to show Bryce because of the fact that uh, we're gonna show you pictures of him at 40 and how strong he was. And then we're gonna show you pictures of him at 46, which is later 40s. It's, it's closing in on the 50, and he's better. And he's better. <laughs> my, my camera guy I was getting attacked by the dogs, which I love. Um, but it, it, he doesn't need to say, remember when. And no, that's the best cool is yet thing. to come. And it's and at my option. To keep that mindset. It's at my option as to how do I want to be. Yep. Do I want to be bigger and stronger? Do I want to put on more muscle? Or do I want to really rip down? Having the option to do that, having control over your body is truly, I believe, the quintessential best you can be because that you're in control. You're not let, allowing the mirror to be in control. You're in control and you decide to do what you want. You know, listen. Don't I, go in for it yet because the one thing I do want to say is, again, this is not about visual. Um, first and foremost, uh, I don't believe that you can keep the visual 
unless the internal is better. And so that's one thing I want you guys to understand that I never want to train you just for the day, just to, to look great for a moment. I want to be able to get you there and maintain that. And what, what society will do, and most of social media paper champions that got in shape or they're just 20 years old and they're teaching you something, they're going to get you in shape, but it's how they get you in shape. Can you maintain that for the next 10 years? I mean, most people can't maintain it for two weeks after they diet down. And I'm trying to say, let's maintain this for the next 20, 30 years and actually get better than what you were doing. And one thing about him is, it's the bone density, which again, you guys will understand in time how important that is, especially, especially for you women. Um, uh, the connective tissue, because when you are in your 40s, you're gonna start going, oh, my lower back, my knees hurt, this hurts, that hurts. And he is healthier now. And that's one of the biggest things. Now we've done that on the inside and then it translates to the outside where he can maintain this. It's basics. It's basics. It's 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 keeping with it. You know, you have to commit to it, though. I think that's something that you can't teach, and that's something that I invite you guys to do. And you need to break it down into a way that is kind of bite-sized enough and baby steps for you to take. And the good news is that I can say, starting six years ago, we didn't have a lot of the tools that we have today that Mike's incorporating in this program. I mean, I say diet's the most important thing. Well, what's the most important thing about diet? The food. Okay, well, I don't have time to make my food. I, I get that right now. You you're in your office watching this, or you're on a plane going to another city for a business meeting because that's because you're a busy guy or busy lady. Okay, how do you deal with that? Well, they have a great meal program that's incorporated into it that I've used, Icon Meals. So it's not about no excuses, it's about, well, this is how you can actually incorporate it and get done what he's asking you to get done, which is gonna be better for you in the long run. So I encourage you to use Icon Meals. Definitely to start the process so you're getting into the situation. It's something he was saying here too is, uh, you, you guys are gonna go, well, I travel a lot. You don't travel more than us. Uh, I travel almost every other weekend, every weekend. Uh, the food is already there, it's already prepped, it's already made. Um, we just pull out of the fridge. I don't miss meals. And Bryce has traveled a lot overseas. And again, the meals are prepped. He's ahead of the game. He prepares, we're set. Here's the one great thing about Icon or, or, or mm -hmm. making sure that your food is on point like this with Icon. Back in the day, um, and I'm talking uh, 80s and early 90s, I would have to travel with baby food and tuna and a can opener. That's how I would travel. And I'd still get my meals in, but that's because I had a, a desire. It is so easy now. So again, regardless of your angles or, or how much you want this, you gotta stay on point when you travel. You have to stay on point when you travel. You have to stay on point all the time. Getting back to your first point. Every single day, every single meal makes a difference. You don't have to make a monumental issue out of it. You just have to say, it's really important that I do all of this because at the end of the day, every single meal that you make, every single workout that you do right, every single choice that you make that's being asked of you to make is gonna make all the difference and you're gonna feel the difference and what's more great than that? Well, let me ask you this then. Um, because we did get you in shape and we got you all ripped right now, you're training seven days a week? No. Well, you gotta, you gotta train seven days a week if you're gonna get in shape. How many days a week are you training? I live three times a week. Well, uh, 45 minutes to what's an average that? Say time. it again one more time. Three. You train three times a week? Deadlift, incline bench, squat. All right, well then, then you're definitely like on zero carbohydrates and low fat, 
and just tons of protein to stay I'm late. eating more carbs than I've Well, liked. how is this possible? The mind of Mike O'Hearn. The mind of Mike O'Hearn. The <laughs> understanding of, of, of how you need to get your metabolism to behave. The uh, truth is, is that, as I've said, disruption is gonna be a part of this process. And you're, you're gonna be confused and then you're gonna say, Mike, why should I do this? Or maybe I should just jump on cardio for three hours or you know, <laughs> that, that's what I'm used to doing. Listen, let me, let me put it into real world context. You probably all like Netflix and you probably all like Amazon. Those are both companies that disrupted other industries. Netflix disrupted HBO, Amazon disrupted you know, every d delivery service, right? Yet, it's, it's better, you love the service. I mean, House of Cards, what was that? Well, now it's like, it made Netflix. Listen, it's gonna be a disruptive process, but be open to it because it, again, it's, it's tried and true. And sometimes when it doesn't look so easy or feel so easy at the beginning, even to sign up for, for Netflix or, 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 or sign up for the service and, and, and use it, you have to get around that. Look at what I've done because there's no lying in that. There's just facts. There's an Instagram that goes back. It shows everything that I do. There's pictures that you can visit the website, Bryceology.com, and you can see all the images. That is what it is. So that's where you guys want to get to. Try it and see it through. See it through. Just accept the, the information. Go through the process and allow it to change you. And then at the end of the process, you're gonna be happier. There's a couple of things let me address. One is that uh, you're talking about change and we talked about you do eat carbohydrates, you do eat fats, you eat proteins. You train three days a week. I create the program to work around your lifestyle. And then the ultimate goal here is to get you to the point where your body's working at 100%, your metabolism's working at 100%. So I'm not gonna be one of these guys that says no carbohydrates because for me, it's not realistic that you're never gonna eat carbs again. You just, you're just not. Um, you may feel that way right now at 25, you might be a vegan at 26, everything's gonna change in 10 years. Uh, and everything's gonna change in another 10 years. And so I don't run away from any types of food. I keep those in and I make sure that he understands that. And his lifestyle's that way too. Um, another thing is you guys are gonna go, well, wait a minute, he's on, he's on steroids. We've documented everything. He's a 40 year old man. And one thing that you guys will confuse you is that uh, the majority of society mostly today thinks that if you are on, uh, if you're a man and you're on high testosterone, you build muscle. That's not true. That just means that you basically go bald quicker. Um, and uh, one thing that is factual is that um, women who don't have a high testosterone base can still build muscle. So let's drop the testosterone. He is a natty. Um, I make sure to keep it that way. This guy is not trying to Mr. win Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe back here or anything no. like that. He's a businessman that is kicking ass and wants to be healthy. So drop that from the conversation. Uh, you don't need high testosterone. And hopefully this makes you guys happy that you're hearing this instead of angry. Um, I know that this might be a kick in the because you think uh, it gives you an excuse. If I say you don't need high testosterone to build muscle, it might uh, make you feel like, you know, oh, no, 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 I like that excuse. That way I can continue to look the way I do. Sorry, that's not true. Um, testosterone will build muscle, of course it will, but it's the connective tissue and everything else that's gonna make you stronger and better and bigger. And it's a consistency in the food that is gonna build the muscle that you maintain. Ill-gained muscle cannot be kept. So your best champions in the world in 10 years will not look like your best champions in the world. I have been here since Samir Banut won Mr. Olympia. And you can take all the Mr. Olympias before um, and compare them to me every year. And I'm the same guy. And that's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to be able to stay the same and get better instead of just going freaky and then disappearing. Absolutely. Don't look at it as well, this guy has really nice pictures, or there must be something he's not telling me. 
No, couldn't be more opposite than the truth. <laughs> the only thing I'm not telling you is, is just the amount of work I'm willing to put in to continue to grow and yeah. get better. So when I wanted to create a better Bryce, I, I was turning 40, which as you're gonna get older, you wanna get better. And I was looking at the right way to do it. I came to Mike to do it. And instead of handicapping everything I saw on YouTube or whatever social media you wanna see. You, in your house right now, on the plane right now, instead of saying, but it's not for me because, or, well, he must have done this. Don't do that. See it as, this is knowledge that works. Why don't I try and apply it to myself? Why don't I try to stick with it and be positive and make things better for myself and not get stuck in, maybe I should have tried that six months ago because the wife, the girlfriend, the friends, the family are telling you to change something. Reps of 20, my rep range is honestly one to 100. Um, I'm a believer that we have to work all the way through the low reps and the high reps. It's not just one thing. Uh, and the secondary thing is this, because he's only doing the one exercise, we're probably gonna finish it to a total of seven sets. That's it. Again, I understand this is confusing to you. So that's why I'm saying watch today, but then follow along and learn as we do this. You will understand less is more. Again, I want you guys to do this for a lifetime, not just for a moment. Um, for you youngsters, man, if you can, this is what I always say. I always say to my young self, if I could have slowed down a little bit more, I would have been better now. Um, but I am like you guys. I love to train. I love to get in there. But there's, there's a bit of a science to this. Um, if you think going into the gym and training for four hours and you're going to outwork everybody and your body's going to change, that's not how it happens. Trust me, I know guys that train four, five, six hours a day. They're called UFC fighters, MMA fighters. These guys train more than anybody. And now here's the thing, they have to train that much for cardiovascular reasons, for technique reasons. They gotta wrestle, they gotta box, they got to do jujitsu, they gotta run, they gotta do weight training. Now again, if you look at their physiques, their physiques are in no way the pinnacle of what a, a Brad Pitt in Fight Club. Um, and that's just a Hollywood body, so there's a difference. These guys train their lives and their body doesn't look like it where others just train for a moment and look great. I'm hopefully getting through to you guys that there's more to this than just going into the gym and just doing programs, anybody's programs. So stay with it, have fun with this. I'm just excited that you guys are jumping in, jumping on board and gonna do this with me. I believe that with the tools that you have today, with, with an iPhone in the app, with the meal plan service that you can do with, with Icon, these are such great things. When I started this six years ago, a lot of these tools weren't available to me and I needed to figure out my way around that. Now I stuck through it because I'm consistent and I, I, I am gonna be the same and better as I get older and older and older because that's my commitment, just like investing for your future, um, uh, building your career for your future, for your family is so important. You have to invest in your body. So, you know, just like you're gonna go to experts and read great documentation to invest for yourself, you should do the same for your body. And that's what this is. And you can see it applied to me. 
even when I traveled. I went to Europe this year for work. Um, we did a DEXA scan before, we did a DEXA scan after. The information's there. So um, I hope you guys can use this information constructively and then apply it to yourselves because we're coming up on a, a, a new year. This is fantastic. You're gonna get to That's change yourself. Time. It's not far away and just stick with it. The second thing that I wanna talk about and you can change the direction of the conversation is, if, you, if you'd like, is why Mike is such a great guide in lifting. Because lifting's the fun part. Come on, how fun is it? <laughs> I love lifting. I wanted to lift more. I couldn't deadlift more than X amount or bench more than X amount when I started out. Okay, I sought out a person I believe who could help me. And I, I did my homework. And you did your homework, that's why you're here. So hopefully this will, help, this will confirm your homework. Lifting's great, but we can all agree the gym, again, another metaphor, is like the jungle. If you don't have the right guide and the right map to get through the gym, well, you're gonna go in circles. You're gonna do things you don't need to do, and you're not gonna get to where you need to be. That's what I can tell you about lifting. Now, we have it so efficient down to three lifts over the week where the basics work, deadlift, incline, bench, and squat. Now, there are so many other great secondary and, 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 and other exercises that Mike has and, and Mike will have you do that I've also done with him as well previously, but we do variations on those three lifts because we believe that's the, the, the true core yep. and the basics. But save yourself the time and admit to yourself that you need the right guide. This is the guide, and this is a great guide because he doesn't make a big deal about himself being a great guide. He doesn't have uh, uh, all these checklists and, and everything. He's gonna just give you the information and give you the facts and tell you what to do. It's up to you to execute it, and you should. Just execute it and get through it. That's what I have to say about the gym. I love it, um, and, and I'm glad you said that about the training and the bench, and we got you down to three exercises, and that's the goal. Um, if you guys think, and this is why I was being sarcastic early on, you train seven days a week. The point isn't to train seven days a week. Um, now, I know you guys watch me and you go, wait a minute, but you train at least six days a week or five. I love it and I understand what I'm doing. Um, I also understand that I go, again, like both of us, I take you on a ladder. You gotta come up the ladder and back down. It's continuous. It's never the same program. It's always changing. It's changing on how you, if you're strong that day, if you're weak that day. Um, are you coming up off of a, uh, a stressful week? Uh, is there too much cortisol released? There's so many aspects of it. But for B, we got him fired up to where his body is functioning as an 18 year old. Uh, he has cheat meals, he has his pizzas, he has his, his whole day of bad food. And again, which is gonna confuse you guys, is that it doesn't hurt him, it just spikes his metabolism that much more. And then the next day he comes back in, right back on the plan, beautiful. And there's the mind rest. It's not just that he's dieting, it's not just that he's training. I am also trying to get his mind relaxed and get his mind to a point where this is not stressful and it shouldn't be. This should be something you wanna do. I would think, and again, I know no, they're I think here because they want to. They want they're to. They're here because they want to be. I they hope. just need the information <laughs> to, to be communicated to them. Mike is a foremost fitness expert in the world. He's won a multitude of, of awards. He's been on amazing television, international television shows, films, gotten awards in martial arts. You name it, he's done it. And you need to look at this as I did as, this guy knows something about how to make a great body. Because you guys all want great bodies. I wanted a great body. That's important. And you need to realize, listen, there, you are gonna see him be doing other exercises or exercising every day, you know, doing these exercises and posting every day. That's because he is a fitness professional. And that's what you will see him do in life. Um, but we all know that, that if we have careers in other fields, we need to adapt that 
to our lifestyle and yet lead a very, very full life. And that's what this lifestyle is for me. You actually find it's a real lifestyle. You know, Mike talked about cheat meals and I wanna to touch on that. Listen, going out to great restaurants and, and, or even having great food in your home that your family, friends, you know, prepare or order in a Domino's, frankly, is all great, you know? You have to realize that the meals are gonna be there when they're supposed to be there. And by doing a fitness program, you're investing in yourself, as I said before. And when you're with friends, you're with family, and they want you to have that glass of wine or share that dessert or eat this because you've been good all week or do whatever, listen, you can do whatever you want to do, but you have to realize if you're gonna invest this much time, money, blood, sweat, and tears into this, and you really want the result, which you all do right now, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna say, great guys, eat what you want. I'm fine, I'm here, I got my meal, I'm good. Mentally, you have to transcend that. You have to realize that your investment into your own body and all this time that you're spending doing this is gonna be worth it in the end because every time you don't do it is a step back. So if you go off diet, if you miss meals, if you do this, it's not like, well, tisk tisk. It's like, okay, you just put yourself back. I didn't put you back. You put yourself back. Those are just the facts. Let's stay positive and say, hey, listen, we have an opportunity here for these, for each amount of time you've allocated to a goal. I don't know if it's eight weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks to hit one goal. And then as you said, you're going up the ladder, you're going down the ladder, you're doing different things. Just realize every time that you finish a goal, you're gonna get the option to create another goal that you want, be it more strength or be it more appearance and be it the convergence of the two as you go up. And that's really important. And I, I hope that you guys hear that. Again, you know, going and having a whole day to eat whatever I want is great. It's great at the right time. And I'm gonna always have those times when it's the right time. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put in the work and sometimes the work is just doing the diet. And again, tools that you need to do that, they're much more advanced than they used to be. You know, listen, there are great small coolers that you can take, you go on an airplane, take your meals with you, or if you have to go out for a whole day for work, take your meals with you with a couple of cold packs and, 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 and the water you need to do. You can do it, you need to anticipate and plan, but you can do it. And that's part of getting to the end result of the workout, is anticipating what you need to do and planning for your, your food and your diet. And once you, you get your head around it, it, it's all gonna make sense and it's all doable with the tools of an Icon Meals where you can say, all right, I'm gonna be in New York at this time or just ship me the meals and I'll take them with me because I get a little Yeti cooler and some cold packs, you're good. There we go. Guys, iconmeals.com, meal plan at Mike O'Hearn, and uh, fit plan. It's my training program, it's my uh, meal program, and uh, food delivery. So, Bryce Gata, thanks for doing this. Yeah, check out, if you're interested, you can check out my Instagram at Briceology.com or my website at Briceology.com. I hope it can be helpful to you guys as you go through your transformation. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Again, the reason I brought Bryce today is because of the fact that this is a working man that started out as an average Joe. And at this level now is an elite lifter that's done 550 pound squat, 500 deadlift for reps, an incline of 315, and he only trains three days a week. Absolutely. That's why I brought him. This is you guys out there that are thinking about starting that are average right now, that does not want to be average anymore.